Refining begins with a process called distilling. After oil is superheated, it becomes vapor. The vapor is fed into the distillation unit. As it rises and cools, the vapor turns back into a liquid. Using stacks of trays, the liquid is easily collected and separated by weight. The lighter and medium weight liquids require less processing before they're ready to be used in cars and trucks. The heavier liquids need more processing to become useful. A process called cracking is used to maximize the usefulness of heavy oil. Heavy oil has long strings of carbon and hydrogen molecules. Using a catalyst, these molecules can be broken into smaller chains, transforming the heavy oil into lighter, more valuable fluids. Reforming is a process that increases the amount of gasoline produced from crude oil. One of the products separated in the distilling process is a liquid called naphtha. The number of carbon atoms in naphtha is about the same as the number found in gasoline, but their structure is more complex. Reforming rearranges the naphtha molecule, turning it into a usable, gasoline-like molecule. Blending is a process of mixing different refinery products to make finished petroleum fuels. Gasoline, for example, is blended to achieve octane standards, creating the grades of gasoline you see at the pump, regular, mid-grade, and premium, that are necessary to meet the needs of specific engine types. Treating is a process used to produce cleaner gasoline, which helps protect both the environment and our health. Gasoline molecules contain impurities like sulfur that can be removed. When the molecules are heated and come in contact with a special catalyst, a chemical reaction occurs that strips the sulfur away. These sulfur compounds are used as fertilizers and in pharmaceuticals. Nothing goes to waste in a refinery. In fact, by expanding existing refineries and improving their efficiency, we've increased production of refined products by more than 40% since the 1970s. So the next time you drive by a refinery, think about the scientists and engineers who are helping to efficiently transform raw crude oil into the fuels and products we use every day. Their innovative work helps keep prices low for the many things we use in our daily lives. And think about how refining, like other types of manufacturing, supports entire communities. Put it all together and you'll see how refineries keep America moving.